So this afternoon, it's my great honor and distinction to speak today in tribute to the outgoing chairman of the UCSF Department of Orthopedic Surgery, Dr. Thomas P. Vail. After 16 years providing inspirational leadership for the department in the UCSF Medical Center, Dr. Vail has decided that it's time for a change. Dr. Vail is stepping down as chairman, and therefore it's time to recognize him and thank him for all that he has done for all of us who are connected to UCSF orthopedic surgery. We'll start with a short review of Dr. Vail's background. Only recently did I learn that Tad spent his early childhood years here in the Bay Area. His father worked for Morton Salt Company, which had operations here in the Bay. Following his father's work, Dr. Family, Dr. Vail's family then moved to the Chicago area where he graduated high school. Tad went to Duke University for undergraduate school where he earned a degree in mechanical engineering and material science. Dr. Vail completed medical school at Loyola University in Chicago, going back to Duke for his orthopedic surgery residency. He then did fellowship in adult reconstruction at Duke University Hospital, joining the faculty at Duke after fellowship in 1992. After a distinguished career as an academic surgeon at Duke, Dr. Vail came back to the Bay Area to be chairman at UCSF in 2007. Dr. Vail's impact on the Department of Orthopedic Surgery has been tremendous during his tenure as chairman. We have witnessed awesome changes, not only in the physical structure of the department and in clinical operations, but we have also witnessed a palpable increase in the overall impact of the orthopedic department on the lives of patients and the health of our local communities. Dr. Vail has made a remarkable impact on the careers, careers of students, residents, faculties, and fellows here in orthopedic surgery. I had the opportunity to speak with several faculty members for their perspective on the impact Dr. Vail has made. <laughs> Dr. Vail has earned a reputation for being a thoughtful and wise leader. His leadership style is described as being composed, balanced, measured, steady, supportive, graceful, and fair. He is admired by current faculty for being a consensus builder and a leader who empowers young faculty to seek and find their own career paths in orthopedics. One current faculty member told me that Dr. Vail's ten tenure as chairman has, quote, affected me deeply, and that he will be, quote, forever grateful for his leadership. Others have said that they are huge fans of Dr. Vail for his professional influence on them. They refer to Tad as inspirational. The most memorable description I heard of Dr. Vail is that he is the consummate helmsman because of his steady hand leading the department. Not only has Dr. Vail guided the department through significant internal growth and change, but he has also provided expert guidance through outside changes, notably the COVID-19 pandemic. He is simply one of the best people we here at UCSF could have ever had to take over the department in 2007 and see it to new heights under his leadership. I want to review in some more detail some of Dr. Vail's accomplishments and changes in the department over the past 16 years. One of the first and most important changes in the department under Dr. Vail's watch was building the Orthopedic Institute at UCSF. The OI exists under a model where it's co-owned by both the department and the university. The medical center <clears throat> provided capital for building the physical structure, and the department shares an ongoing revenue from clinical operations. In this way, the department was able to establish a critical source of its own revenue needed to fuel the department's subsequent growth over time. In 2007, we had 38 clinical faculty and four full-time research faculty in orthopedic surgery. We now have over 100 clinical faculty members in the department with 16 full-time research faculty. One faculty member commented to me that a big difference now is that because of Dr. Vail's influence, many more faculty members want to stay and grow their careers here at UCSF rather than looking to find greener pastures at other institutions. Another sentiment is the feeling of increased connection between UCSF orthopedics and the orthopedic community here in the city of San Francisco and the San Francisco Bay Area, which is strengthened under his watch. I remember meeting Dr. Vail as an outgoing chief resident in 2007. I was impressed by his quiet, observational style. He certainly wasn't the type of person who came in with fists waving, looking to make changes by figuratively shaking the ground when he assumed the chairman role. Instead, he took time to learn about the strengths and weaknesses here at UCSF, and then developed a structured vision for growth and improvement of the department. As surgeons, we understand that a complex case is best accomplished by having a well-thought-out surgical plan. Similarly, 
Growing and improving in an academic department at a large university medical center also requires laying out goals and a planning framework to accomplish the job. Dr. Vale's vision for growth included three main pillars, research, education, and clinical care. Dr. Vale reorganized the department's internal leadership structure to create vice chairmanship positions to oversee these critical areas. We now have vice chairs in charge of the areas of research, clinical ed <clears throat> research, education, and clinical operations, but also quality, technology, and others. Focusing on research, UCSF is now at the very top in the nation for NIH research funding in orthopedic surgery year over year. The research program has acquired and renovated over 5,000 square feet of new research space for our growing faculty and growing innovative research endeavors. In terms of clinical care, orthopedics at UCSF Medical Center continues to earn the reputation for being among the very best in the country, as evidenced by observers such as US News and World Report. Moreover, expanding that access to that high level of care is part of the mission here at UCSF. Understanding that a significant percentage of UCSF clinical patients live outside of the city, including the North, South, and East Bay areas, over recent years, the department has established clinical outposts in these geographic regions to meet patients where they live and improve access to care. Regarding education, the success of the educational program here at UCSF is evidenced by the fact that UCSF residents successfully compete for the best fellowship programs in the country upon completion of residency training. As physicians, surgeons, and scientists, we know that diversity means strength in the natural world. Under Dr. Vale's watch, the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at UCSF has become a leader of the nation for representation of and leadership by women. UCSF residency classes have consistently included women over the past 15 years. The faculty at UCSF also consistently includes women, notably two of our current section chiefs. While the field of orthopedic surgery nationally is underrepresented by women, the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at UCSF exceeds the, American, the Association of Ameri American Medical College's peer benchmarks for percentage female faculty and residents by 50%. Here are some other additional highlights from Dr. Vale's tenure. UCSF Orthopedics is recognized as having one of the leading academic global outreach initiatives in orthopedics with the Institute for Global Orthopedics and Traumatology. Dr. Vale has been a key supporter of the IGOT mission. Dr. Vale recently created the Hyman Fellowship to support medical students' summer research within the department. Last year, the fellowship funded five students with the expectation to do the same for years to come. The department is one of the first in the nation to build an analytics section, knowing that data is and will continue to be the key driver of our current and future success. The analytics section provides valuable data to our clinical and research faculty, as well as to our residents. One of Dr. Vale's key Keys for success over the years has been the strategy to measure, change, and measure again. Understanding that an effective strategy also needs to grow and change over time to best execute its goals. A new vision statement has been developed that captures the essence of who we are as a department. That mission, pioneering musculoskeletal discovery and innovative care to transform lives. In 2019, Dr. Vail led the department through a new strategic planning initiative. This plan is very active today with a mid-plan report now available. Not only has Dr. Vail been an exemplary internal leader for the department, he has also been a recognized leader in orthopedics nationally throughout his career. Tad has served on the board of directors of the American Board of Orthopedic Surgeons. Dr. Vail is past president of the American Association of Hip and Knee Surgeons and the past president of the Knee Society. Dr. Vail continues to serve on the editorial board of the, the Journal of Arthroplasty and on the board of trustees of the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery. Dr. Vail oversees and leads the research strategy for the orthopedic department, but also has continually been involved in his own clinical research with an impressive list of past and present research grant awards, leading to numerous publications, invited lectureships, and visiting professorships. Throughout all of this, Dr. Vail has maintained a top-notch clinical orthopedic practice in adult hip and knee reconstruction. These are some of the highlights from the past 16 years of Dr. Vail's tenure as chairman. And I apologize for the details that I am undoubtedly omitting. Unsurprisingly, Dr. Vail continues to 
plans to remain very busy after retiring from clinical practice and stepping down as chairman. Tad is a person who has many irons in the fire, and he will continue to be involved in exciting projects moving forward. For example, Dr. Vale is involved with a biotechnology firm which is working to develop a synthetic cartilage system for treatment of injured joints. Dr. Vale will continue to be an advisor for the company moving forward. Another example is Tad's work within an organization called Ranch and Vets. The mission of Ranch and Vets is to assist with the reintegration of veterans from military to civilian life through a, var through a variety of programs offered within the ranching and agricultural industry. This organization was started here in Northern California and Dr. Vale serves on the board of directors. Not to be overlooked, retirement will afford Dr. Vale more time to spend with his family between projects. He is understandably very proud of his loving family, his wife Lisa, his son Parker, his daughter Brennan, and their two young grandchildren. Speaking on behalf of the alumni of the Abbott Society, and also the residents and the faculty of the UCSF Department of Orthopedic Surgery, past and present, I am here to say a sincere thank you to you, Dr. Vale, for your incredible leadership, dedication, and service, not only to the department as a whole, but also to each one of us as individuals. Your extraordinary tenure and your accomplishments have made an indelible impact upon us, and you will be forever loved and remembered here at UCSF. You know, I, I want to say thank you, and you'll hear me say thank you many more times. Um, it was really over the top. I really appreciate uh, those comments. I, I want to exit low-key, gracefully. It's hard to do that. Um, and uh, I just, uh, the, the one thought that, that comes to me that um, I hope will continue to, uh, to live on here is the sense of opportunity. You know, when I came here, it was because of a sense of opportunity. <clears throat> and that's, I've, I've said that to many people individually when we're talking about careers is, I can't provide you everything, but a sense of opportunity is what I'd like to provide in, in this environment, in this place. And it's been a great place with lots of opportunity. And, and I hope uh, my, my prayer, my thought for the future, for this department and this university is that sense of opportunity continues. And thank you so much for the opportunity you gave me.